Hi guys, I have a Terminator in front of me and it's from a squad of Terminators that I've got and I have to say a huge thank you to uh, Mac for giving me these. Uh, it was a, a, um, a really nice gesture, I went to his house and uh, we was working on the uh, custodes and at the end of the day he just handed me a brand new sealed box of Terminators like, there you go mate, thanks for helping us out and uh, yeah, I come away with a nice new uh, box of uh, Terminators uh, and he also gave me some... Uh, pre-heresy uh, shoulder pauldrons as well which uh, has worked out really nicely on this squad um, so let's go over the uh, Terminators now I've magnetized the arms uh, there's a couple of reasons for that uh, one um, the you know these um, box sets you know you get plenty of um, options for uh, arms uh, for variety uh, and not only that um, you're also you don't want to limit yourself with your um, your army list to a specific uh, build for your terminators for example one of the terminators could have an assault cannon um, and another one could possibly have let me just get him up here a, a heavy flamer or a heavy flamer so it's nice to uh, choose that option or um, you could take the heavy flamer off and uh, replace it with a storm bolter so it's nice to have that uh, ability um, what I do plan on doing in future is possibly uh, purchasing a, an assault uh, terminator squad and in the uh, box sets you actually get 10 weapons you get five pairs of uh, thunder hammer and storm shields and five uh, pairs of lightning claws uh, so if I actually purchase some more shoulder pauldrons I'll possibly be able to uh, uh, work it out so I could have 10 uh, assault terminators or you know split the squads between shooting and assault um, the paint job on these is uh, pretty much uh, standard for how I've been painting pretty much all my blood angels which is a clean look but with um, the the red uh, blending uh, with the cut with the uh, grayscale painting underneath I have got footage of uh, that um, I painted the uh, Temple Crusade Zero One miniature that I, I was given, and I uh, did a lot of filming on it. Um, it's a lot; it's really ropey footage, to be honest. So it's a case of when I, when I get round to it, it's uh, editing it and cutting it and chopping it and changing it. So uh, there's some uh, decent footage to actually uh, see there. So that's that guy. Uh, I'll show you couple of standard uh, marines and this one's got a uh, very bog standard uh, loadout for these types of terminator storm bolter and uh, power fist and the really cool decals are from the blood angels uh, decal set that you get from forge world and uh, i really really uh, like those uh, decals and you can see another one down there on the uh, shin and this guy um has got I think it's a Deathwind launcher uh, I could be completely wrong there I'm just off the top of my head and the magnets inside here <laughs> trying to pull the uh, uh, miniature with it uh, uh, inside the actual um, missile launcher pod um, I could have put the magnets on the outside and the same uh, goes for the top of the uh, terminator there but it just look a bit unsightly so the magnet uh, fits inside there and then you clip it together and glue it together make sure you get the polarity right because once you glued it together you, you know you're buggered really if you don't and then um, before you put the uh, chest plate on uh, there's a little gap underneath where that arch or the hood of the chest plate sits and there's a magnet just under there so when you uh, put it down without any unsightly magnets you still get the pull for the magnets there and uh, this guy's also got a chain fist now this differs uh, uh, quite a bit from a, a power fist and it's brilliant for tank hunt in, uh if you don't know this and not aware of this for five extra points uh, for your terminator it basically works like a malta gun in the assault you get 2d6 armor penetration so even um, land raiders uh, can be opened up like a can of beans with one of those uh, bad boys and last but not least it's the sarge and uh, this is probably one of my favorite bear heads of all time it's the uh, terminator style one where literally half of his face has been uh, ripped off uh, and i've got to say i really do love it um and the uh sword i've um added a bit of blood splatter there using the old uh toothbrush flicking the uh, paint off an old toothbrush technique there but I, I changed the hue so you'll notice that there's different hues of, of blood as some of it's thinner and some of it's thicker on the blade 
adds a little bit more believability. Um, so yeah, that's a more. I'll, I'll stand them all up next to each other, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Um, I'm a huge fan of uh, uh, Terminators. I really am, and uh, let me know what you think. Um, how would you uh, load these out? Would you go with the assault cannon? Would you go with the flame hour or the uh, missile pod, or would you just stick with a bog standard uh, storm bolt or a uh, power fist uh, combination? And uh, as I say, uh, give it a couple of days and I should have some nice high resolution photos of these up uh, minus my rambling. Uh, so thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe.